Hello and welcome to Catechrist Magazine. We can be found on the web at www.catechrist.com. My name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and I want to welcome to the show today uh, Seagulls guitarist uh, Sin Quinn. Welcome to the show, Sin. How you doing? Good. Thank you very much. How you doing? Now, um, I want to ask you, um, first of all, I'm doing great. Um, the current single and video is for his song, um, More or Para Vivar. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> it's uh, Morir Para Vivir. And is that like um, French or is that different language? It's Spanish. Spanish, okay. And I was yeah. reading that, um, um, is it you or, the, or one of the other band members that's uh, got Hispanic uh, uh, heritage? Uh, actually, both of us. Um, the singer, uh, Pedro Sanchez, um, Mexican, and I'm also Mexican, so. Oh, okay. That, that's kind of that's kind of cool. And um, I was reading that um, you were previously in... Um, both ministry and um, society one, so um, both um, bands that I'm aware of and a lot of people are aware of, so um, was it just, um, talk a little bit about leaving those bands uh, to form this, is just you wanting to do your own thing, or? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, going back to society one, that's, uh, I was with society one from 1999 yeah. till about 2005 or so, Okay. and then I joined, um, Band called Revolting Cox. Oh, I've heard which of it. Is, <laughs> which is yeah, which is uh, one of uh, Al's side bands for Ministry. Okay. And so during that, uh, I think it was the 2006 uh, Revolting Cox Ministry tour. Um, like we were both you know on the same bill. Mm-hmm. Um, as when Al asked if I would be interested in helping him write the new Ministry album, this oh, was back wow. in 2006. And so that's kind of how I made the move um, from Society One into ministry okay. and i was with ministry from 2006 up until last year but also during those years i mean i also did um i did a couple of tours with lords of acid oh wow wow I did a, you did a couple of tours with a band called american head charge um and um yeah you know and, and- uh, after I was, gonna say, I was gonna say one of the things that all the bands, including the um, the new band Seagulls, has in common, um, kind of theatrical. Like um, thing I really picked up on watching the um, video was um, the fact that you guys are made up. And I, I dig bands that you know kind of do the theatrical thing and get made up. I mean, it's a, a fun. It makes it that much funner, I think, for the audience. Yeah, no, definitely, man. And I mean, for me. You know, I um, I, I grew up uh, a huge Kiss fan as yeah. a kid. Yeah. So, um, you know, I grew up. I'm old. I grew up in the um, when I was a kid you, in the seventies. You and me so, both. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was, you know, I always had a thing for, um, you know, that the sort of theatrics um, with bands. I just always felt like it added, you know, another element. So, like, um, um, to the when music you, and to the to the live show. So, did you always, when you formed Cygos, always know you wanted to? Um, uh, like have makeup and stuff and like did did each guy design their own or yeah I mean you know it's really I mean to be honest with you well aside from with Society One I mean we were we were a bit theatrical yeah. you know back in the day and stuff and we had a big you know tried to do a big show and stuff like that but um, uh, when, once we formed uh, Siglos Siglos um, okay I mean we kind of it really wasn't talked about too much to be honest with you it was just something that sort of came natural and um when it was time to shoot the first video is is sort of when we we all said hey let's let's do this um you know sort of corpse paint or you know black metal whatever you want to call it yeah it kind of reminds Um, me of some of those black metal bands from you know yeah yeah so that's kind of like you know we we to be honest with you like you said we just sort of decided it um then um right when we were shooting the first music video and then when we shot this the second music video for um what you what mean i mean we also we just carried it over to then but you know that's not to say that that you know if and when we do another video mm-hmm. or you know um when we do live shows i mean we may or may not do makeup but uh, yeah. we definitely want to do some some type or some form of of theatrics you know we, we obviously don't want to just stand up on stage and yeah. you know flannel shirts and just you know um, I mean, some bands are great at that, but, you know... Um, yeah, yeah, more power to them, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're just a little weak. I think we just come from a different sort of school. I mean, um, yeah, besides you know, Kiss, of, you know, I... That we're influenced by. I mean, besides Kiss, um, I'm also a huge fan of um, Alice Cooper. I mean, you got to give it to Alice. Yeah. He's, he's, like, I think 75 years old or something. He's still he's still rocking up there on stage and doing what he does. Oh, totally. and, you know, and, and best part of all with Alice is... 
he's not just living off his great classic albums. He's he's continuing to make new music, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And so, like, what? Um, again, uh, what what does Siglos mean? Anything significant? Because I always love to ask people, you know, how did you come up with the band name? Because I, I know there's always a story about at least the hardest thing to do. Yeah, it actually um, it, it's in Spanish. It means um, like centuries. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and um, we didn't have a name for the band until we finished the first song. Um, and in this band, I, I write uh, I write all the music, um, I record all the instruments in the studio, and then um, Pedro does all the vocals and lyrics. And so when he showed up with the first song, uh, I read the lyrics and everything. And the first single uh, is actually called Por Los Siglos. Oh, wow. And that word kind of stuck out to me. It's a word I had always heard growing up. And uh, it's sort of a, a, a powerful and um, a well-recognized uh, saying in Spanish, por los siglos. And so that kind of, you know, struck a nerve with me. And I was like, wow, I kind of like the, I like the word. I like the meaning. Um, and uh, that's kind of how the, uh, the band name came to be. So, so let me ask you, um, you're, you're obviously proud of your... Uh Hispanic heritage, and, and that's a great thing to kind of infuse that with the band and your music. But uh, let me ask you, like um, some of the titles, you know, even the band name um, yep. is kind of um, Spanish words. Now, is that something yep. you always kind of um, you, you did too? Not just because you're proud of your heritage, but you want to kind of make because right away, like uh, when I'm watching the video and I look at the title of the song, I'm like, oh, you know, wh what is that? It kind of makes people. It, I mean, it gets people talking about the band for one thing. It, it makes people kind of think, you know, and I think that's that's a, a fun part of what you, you're doing. Yeah, no, I mean, we, you know, when, when we got this project together, the way it happened is is during the, the, the shutdown on the pandemic, I just yeah. started writing a bunch of, of music, you know, even more so than I, than I normally do. And so I had a, a handful of songs. Um, I was in the studio with my engineer producer. Yeah. Um, his name's Alex Cristioni. And I had mentioned to him that I had this one song idea that, that I really kind of wanted a different vocal approach and I was I was um, thinking about the sort of you know uh, for lack of a better term a black metal sort of vocal yeah. and he suggested this guy Pedro Sanchez because he had worked with him in the past yeah. so um, I had him come down to the studio he heard the, the, the song he liked it he you know then went home did uh, uh, worked on lyrics and, and the vocals and stuff and then about a week or so later showed me what he had and I really dug it and um, I, to be honest I, we were just going to do one song together and that was going to be it wow. but I really liked what he did so much that I said you know what man um, here's another one <laughs> yeah, and we kind of just like took it from there and then after the second one I was like man you know what I'd really like to make a project out of this um, and that's how the band came to be but you know in that first meeting um, when he and I met in the studio and I was you know showing him the music to this first idea he actually asked me he said you know do you want me to, to write the lyrics and sing in English or Spanish and, okay. and the thought hadn't occurred to me yeah. and uh, when he said that I immediately said Spanish um, yeah. I just thought it would add it a whole cool different element to I it. really think it um, does I mean because even watching know. the video I mean um, you know it wasn't like watching a movie or something in Spanish and you're like uh, you know I can't exactly. understand it it's like it, it didn't even matter I mean just right. the music came through the song came through it, it, it's uh, as silly as that sounds um, it did, didn't even it wasn't really in, no it totally makes sense man. important uh, and that's what I you know that's what I thought and that's what I hoped for you know as far as the reaction and I people. think that I really didn't think people were going to be like oh you know I don't know what he's saying like yeah. you know because that, that vocal approach is so you know tough to decipher sometimes yeah. anyways um, I really didn't think it would affect it much and, and we you know we haven't had anything you know negative about that at yeah. all it's all been positive and, I mean, I and think to it's, me honestly it's like you know we're we're, of course, we're proud of our heritage yeah. and everything like that, but it, I, I just looked at it as a whole different, cool, uh, other angle. I think so. I, mean? I think it's it's it's, it's going to make the band kind of stand out. Uh, you're yeah. not going to be like every other metal band out there. And you probably know yourself from being in these other bands and probably having a um, chance to play in other countries. A lot of times, you know, you go to other countries to play and... The fans can't even, you know, you're singing in English, let's say. Yeah, fans yeah, don't, don't even understand a word you're saying, but they're up there yeah. cheering and singing. Exactly. <laughs> and so I think that goes hand in hand. And it, it, again, 
Um, I think it's the w one thing that's going to really make the band kind of um, a stand out, and, and it's kind of interesting because it's a different type of music. But I think if you're a metal yeah. fan, you're going to dig it. You know. I think so too, and I mean, you you pretty much nailed you know what my thoughts were on you know that subject. So in fact, in fact, as silly as it sounds. Um, People listening to it may not even be aware, but you're speaking another. They they're may just, not even know. Exactly. Just thinking, no, you're absolutely right. They're just absolutely. Thinking, oh, they're, they're. And we, I mean, uh, you know, just uh, yeah. on a side note, we we include on the YouTube videos. If you look below the video, okay. we include the lyrics in case anyone is curious and wants to, you know, actually sort of read along um, and or take those and translate them so they know, you know, what the songs are about. And then, so, um, Sin, um, that, that's obviously not your real name, Sin Quinn, but um, how did you come up with... Um... Actually, well, to be honest with you, it's the first few letters of my first name. Oh, it is? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, so um, my full first name is, is spelled S-I-N-H-U-E. But see, uh, uh, again, it, uh, I don't know, um, maybe just fate uh, played, played a hand in there, but it sounds like a cool name, you know, Sin, he's in the yeah, middle. Yeah, no, I ended up with like a, a stage hey. name without even trying. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, who were some of the guitar... Heroes you had growing up, the guys that kind of inspired you to do what you're doing. Um, I mean, very early on, um, you know, because I'm talking about like, you know, early 70s here. Yeah. Uh, my first guitar hero was Ace Frehley. Oh, wow. Um, there you go. And then, you know, of course, I was huge into Hendrix. Um, and then, you know, in, my, in the late 70s, early 80s, I was into, you know, Randy Rose, yeah. uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, oh, wow. um, Robin Trower. Um, yeah, like those guys, I come from a, like uh, I really like a lot of the blues sort of based guys. Wow. Um, but yeah, those are probably like the, the top um, guitar heroes for me. Yeah, you know, and Ace Frehley, like he, he's I think one of all time great uh, guitarists. Like I'm a I'm a huge Kiss fan myself. And you know, the yeah. thing, thing with Ace is, um, you know, a lot of people don't think he's a great guitar. I mean, you hear people say, oh, yeah, you know, he, um, you know, he, he's my guitar hero. But um, a lot of people say, you know, he's a sloppy player or whatever. But um, What's funny, if you go back and you listen to, like, um, those real early Kiss albums, like, like you take oh, something man. like Parasite. You take something like Parasite, people think that's a Gene Simmons song. No, that's, that's no, actually... That's an ace, man. That's an ace track. He wrote and, a lot of those, yeah, yeah. He wrote a lot of those, uh, those early Kiss tunes that Gene would sing. But Gene or Peter um, usually, like, Strange Ways is another... Oh, man, yeah. monster track. Yeah, and, you know, um, um, like, like um, if, you, if you got one of Ace's recent um, solo albums, I think it was called... Um, Origins One. Um, yeah. He actually re-recorded like a, a version, I think, of um, Parasite with him doing the vocal, and yeah. I think that features John Five. And then he also yeah, yeah. did a new version of Cold Gin. I thought, finally, you know, put in your put in your stamp on your classic songs. Yeah, of course, man. And then you know, um, and then Hendrix. I mean, who's not influenced by Jimi Hendrix? I mean, he's one of those guys that could kind of do it all. Great songwriter, good, great frontman, great singer. Um, yeah. And, Everything, man. And I mean, then, just his playing is still, you know, to this day is still well. I mean, if you've ever seen any of those videos from back in the day, the guy actually, like, not just set his guitar on fire, but, like, he, he'd be playing the guitar with his teeth. I mean, I'd never seen yeah. anything like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, crazy, man. But, yeah, those are, those are definitely the cats that, that influenced me. And, and then, you know, um, Kiss, I mean, you know, you and me are both Kiss fans, we said, and, um, like, can you believe Kiss is celebrating like their 50th anniversary, getting, getting ready to go on their final tour? I mean, it's kind of aging us, but I, I mean, like, just to give you an idea, like, Kiss Alive 2 just turned 45 years I know, just recently, I know. Old last week, and then Creatures of the Night is, um, they're getting ready for, like, out, out a, a 40th anniversary box set. I'm looking forward to that. Well, I saw them on that tour, man. I mean, I saw them, well, the first, do you remember uh, Kiss Me to Phantom of the Park? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I loved that back in the day when I was okay, a kid. So, so, scenes and I'm in that crowd oh wow wow yeah man I was like I was I think eight or nine they shot that at the at the parking lot at Magic Mountain oh wow and um, out here in, in Southern California I heard some other guy and, talking uh, about being at that local radio station at the time wow was giving away parking passes and uh, somehow I, I was a kid I was like like I said like nine or something and I got through to the station and I won a parking pass and me and my cousins were in oh wow what well, uh, I mean, so we got to see that little mini concert that they performed in the parking lot. And when you when you seen the uh, movie on TV a few months later, that had to have been like ultimate. It, oh man, yeah, yeah it was just you know, completely, uh, my mind was blown, man. And, but I mean, like I said, I, I was obsessed with Kiss fan as, yeah. as a kid, and uh, so that's I mean, I got to see the four original guys, you yeah. know, in their Love Gun 
outfits oh, know, wow. back yeah. in 78. And then I saw him the following year on the Dynasty Tour, and then I pretty much saw him every year after that as well. Wow. And did, did you ever, uh, did you get a chance to even when they uh, got, did the reunion tour? Yeah, in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then uh, talk about uh, getting a chance to see them, um, you know, at Magic Mountain film, filming that movie. What was that like? I mean, were they filming, like, different, you know, different scenes or... How much surreal, you- yeah. So they were, I mean, they, they basically did a mini concert. Uh, you know, oh, they, okay. they came out and, uh, and they said, hey, you know, um, we... We're going to have to shoot some scenes, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to do a mini concert here for you guys first. So they actually did forget how many tunes exactly. They might have done like eight eight songs or oh, something wow. like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know, full on. And then they started like actually filming and having to cut and stuff like that. Oh, wow. So um, now so now the, um, the band, you know, as far as the, you know, the, um, the, the song the song that is out, um, is that working towards like a full length album or you could like, kind of release it? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, the, the, the goal now. Is um, I think we're gonna do an EP, which is gonna have about five songs on it. Oh, that's um, cool. And we hope to have that done before the end of the year, and then put that out there hopefully by you know early 2023. And then as far as like um, where you and Pedro out um, about like doing live shows, have you guys talked about that? And um... we have, and we've gotten um, some calls and some interest about uh, taking the band, you know, everywhere from Europe to Mexico. So. Um, you know, and some state stuff as well. But um, it's like we got to finish up this EP first because that's kind of what, what yeah. uh, you know, agents and promoters and blah, blah, blah are asking for. So, um, but yeah, there's definite interest in that. And um, we're going to be pursuing that once we get this done. And so he does the vocals and you do most of the instruments on, um, on, on the songs. Now, let me ask you, yeah. once you guys take this live, will, you, will it still just be the two of you on stage? Or? No, no. I mean, um, you know, when the time comes for that, we hope to take out the actual, the guys that are in the, the latest video. Oh, okay. Oh, and, and talk a little bit about what was that like shooting the video for the um, current single? I mean, um, I, I've seen some video shot and, you know, it's an all day thing usually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's about, it's typical. Um, it was an all day shoot for this, you know, the latest video. Um, I wanted it to be more of a, a performance yeah, type of yeah. video. Um, but if you, if you look in the video, there's an actual shaman in the video, and yeah. he's a real shaman oh, wow. that came in from Mexico and did like, um, like did a, a sort of cleanse yeah. um, on Pedro, and um, yeah, it was pretty wild, man, and, and you know, pretty trippy to, to witness that. But like, that wasn't—he's not an actor or anything like that. Wow, it was wow. a real thing, doing an actual ritual there, and it was pretty, pretty intense to, to, to witness that. Yeah, see, what I think makes the video. Um so cool first of all is um you're smart by making it a performance video because the band hasn't played live out so a lot of people are just hearing the band they don't know what the band looks like so great job of saying okay if you come to see the band this is what we were like you know this is what we look like and and i and like seeing the band for the first time being a kiss fan and all that alice cooper fan i was totally um i love seeing the makeup even if it's not in the next video it's just it's a fun thing it's like oh, oh that's that's something fun to look at and yeah, no, I agree, man. I, I, you know, and I don't know if it's just the, um, you know, uh, like we talked about earlier, just the, the time that we, that we grew up in or the bands that influenced us, but it just, I don't know, it just adds, uh, it adds a cool element to it, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, even look at a band like Motley Crue, um, every yeah. time they put out a new album, they had a different look, you know? It yeah, never totally. Looked, looked exactly the same, and I heard Nicky Six talk in an interview where he was like, um, Okay, you know, you got too fast for love, and you thought Motley Motley Crue was a punk band. Well, you know, with Shout the Devil, okay, we're metal now, and we really got dark and black, and like the way his mind works, it just was constantly, um, yeah. it was constantly evolving. Which I saw, you know, it's funny you mentioned them because I saw them on the Creatures tour. They actually were opening for Kiss. Yeah, I yeah, I, I I heard that. And um, um, did you get a chance to see them on the stadium tour? No. 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 Oh, that so um so you guys I guess like you said you're currently working on um uh, new music and you were telling me um before we began the interview Dave that you're getting ready to drop another single and um, talk a little bit about that. Well, we we dropped the, so the first single came out um, maybe about four weeks ago. five months ago. Oh, okay, wow. Um, yeah, and um and that was sort of like just a introduction, you know, to yeah. the band. Um, 
song, and that song is called Bottle of Seagulls, and it's also on, you know, wow. YouTube and all that stuff. Um, and so the second one we dropped about a month and a half ago or so. Um, but we're, I'm doing the studio again tomorrow, and we have another three ready to go. Oh, wow. And I think those other three, once we finish them, that'll complete the, the five-song EP. And so, the, um, so far, like... Um like when you guys um, go and record a new song for VEP, um, do they all kind of sound the same? Does each song kind of? No, they're all different, man. They're all That's cool too. If you if you get a chance, take a listen to the first. Okay, song, I'll do that. The first single, bottle of singles, total different vibe. Uh, really slow, kind of. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Slow, sludgy, with some industrial. Yeah, not not a, not a ballad, so but but like, like a little mellower. All different, all the songs that we have. I mean, obviously they all sound like us. Yeah, they yeah. All, you know. Uh, they're all um, cohesive in that sense, but it's like not, you know, it's not like five of the same songs. They're all very different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, that, that's kind of, and you know, when you're kind of um, at the point in your career where you're kind of, um, there, there's no set, um, you know, silos box. I mean, it's um, you're creating your sound, so, so to speak, yeah, and, and that's absolutely. that's the cool thing about it. Um, nobody really knows what the band's about, and I think too the interesting thing about. Um, like having Pedro sing it in Spanish, it's really when people hear the music for the first time, they're not going to be really be sure what it is, but it sounds cool. And then once yeah. people find out it's Spanish, oh, what does that mean? Totally. You know, yeah, the, agree, people yeah. might want to learn it. Also, I don't know if you've even thought about this, but um, you know, um, there there's a possibility that um, once people start to latch onto the band, that um, you might start getting played on like Spanish stations as well. You might. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's already it's already happened on some on some stations in Mexico and some internet radio stuff. Yeah. you know, based in Mexico and stuff like that, playing us on, on Spanish sort of stations. You yeah, know? yeah, and you know, you might even get um, you know, invited um, you know, over to Spanish countries or even to play with Spanish um, other Spanish bands. That that's kind of a yeah. cool crossover. <laughs> totally, absolutely. And um, now the other thing I've seen is your um, former um, bandmate um, Matt Zane, who I uh, interviewed. Um, like earlier this year, um, totally a cool yeah. guy. He he's also into video directing, and I understand he directed the video. Yeah, he directed uh, this this latest video for uh, Mori Paravidi. Uh, did an amazing job. I mean, you know, Matt and I go go way back to our yeah. society one days together, and um, yeah, he just killed it on this last video. And so, like you know, again, it, it's um, it it's is a performance video, but like I like um. It looks to me like something you would have seen maybe on Headbangers Ball back in the day. I mean, it looks yeah, that totally. professionally shot. And um, and that, from what I know about Matt Zane, um, you know, directing videos, he's he's a pretty professional director. So how involved were you and Pedro with the um, video and coming up with the um, storyline? Well, the, we you know the concept. Uh, I explained to Matt. I said, listen, you know, I really want it to be um, a performance video and. Uh, Pedro and I had talked about um, it being important that we wanted the shaman to be part of the video because it it has to do with you know with life and death and, and cleansing and, and all that stuff um, and so that's why we we wanted that shaman there and it was very important that we make that happen and so we kind of went all over all these things with with Matt and that's how we came up with the concept for the video. Well, um, I want to say, Sin, it was great. Um chatting with you and getting to know you the interview we just did I'm, like I said it's going to go up sometime within the next two to three weeks once I have a date I will let you guys um, know and, and feel free to um, post it on any of your sites now um, if you like the way the interview went today I like to keep in touch with people so anytime you drop a single or video you want to do this again feel free to do so and on that note Absolutely. Before, I, we, before we wrap it up for today I wanted to ask you um, this may be a tough question but because um, I have another interview series I do for the same site called On The Record where we talk to musicians about you know their favorite bands and their favorite albums. So let's say um, it doesn't have to be Kiss, but you mentioned being a Kiss fan. Let's just say uh, you could tell me, okay, this is my favorite Kiss album. I like to talk about this, or it could be another band, whatever. Um, you, you let me know down the line, and next time I interview, um, we could talk about one of your favorite albums by one of your. So so give that some thought, but um, I'll I'll let you know when this goes up. Take care, my friend. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Chaotic Riffs Magazine.